What's going on guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man, back at you guys with another video. Uh, today we got a lot of jobs that we're going to be going to, so basically you guys are going to be riding with me, and you guys are going to see what events unfold on today's video. I have no idea what's going on, I'm just waking up. It's about 8.30 a.m., alright? Uh, we got like two new clients we're going to go look at today, we got a couple traps to check. We might even be uh, shooting some iguanas, I have no idea what opportunities are gonna present themselves out there today, but you guys already know that we are ready. So if you haven't, make sure you hit the red subscribe button uh, with the bell on, give the video a like, let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go. All right, so real quick, our client lives in this development and they have a bunch of lakes, right? They're pretty nice houses over here and they spend a lot of money on their landscaping. And apparently these iguanas have been messing up the garden, digging around the pool, just kind of hanging out. And honestly, like the owners, they can't really go out and enjoy the backyard the way they want to because of these iguanas. So that's why we are over here. We're gonna keep, we're gonna go to their house and we set some traps. Apparently one of the traps went off. I have no idea what's inside there. Could be a possum, could be a raccoon, could even be a cat. Hopefully it's an iguana. That's how we know the traps will be doing their jobs. Nonetheless, guys, let's go over there to the house and see what we got inside that trap. Barrel swivels, this time we got size five. They're a little bit more beefier, and I think they'll be able to handle the strain. All right. Sweet. And right here, we have some like 500 pound deep sea fishing line. Put it through one swivel, give it a nice little knot. Put it through the other eye of the swivel. Boom. There you have it. You got an iguana snare. Get your snare ready. Oh yeah. Oh the oh there's two in the trap. Sweet. Okay. Big one's running. We're gonna go for that big orange one. Dang, big one's gone. There they go right there in the lake. Honestly, wish I had a boat right now. There was three here, three are gone. That's a nice one. That's a giant right there, whoa. That's a monster. Got him. All right. Let's go recover him. I think he's dead. Where are you? He didn't move, yeah. He just, I just saw him, I just saw him like collapse, you know? Yeah, me too. We just gotta make sure. Right, he's still, he's still moving. How many of that actually filmed? But we ended up taking one out with the air rifle. You guys seen it right there. Let's check out the shot placement. Don't wanna be too graphic, but I mean, this is for scientific purposes. Look at that. Literally shot his eye out right there. That's why you don't play with guns. You can get somebody's eye out. But anyways, got that's like the right there through the vitals. Uh, another one right there through the through the vitals. And then, wow, actually, was that a shot? Dude, right, oh my gosh, look at that. Right through the sweet spot next to the air. So all these are basically uh, incapacitating shots. That's definitely gonna put them out. Look at that, the eye, completely gone. But uh, yeah, so looks like so far on today's job, we got three. Over here on today's job, um, final step is to remove these iguanas out of these traps, rebate them with some fresh fruit. We've got a bunch of goodies right there. Place the traps and yeah, we'll be back. This is all part of the maintenance, y'all. Grab right behind the shoulder so he cannot turn around and get me. Cause he will anything. This guy's actually coming out way easier. Than I thought. I thought he would be trying to kick my butt right now. Okay. So he's out the trap. Get it. We'll go ahead and get him bagged up. Boy, what are we about to do right now, bro? We're about to get some bait. So you got this net right here, bro. Like, whoa. You caught some earlier, huh? 
Yeah, a little something, something. Just a little something, 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 something. Look at this right here. Little, little bluegill. We got these cichlids. Is this a, wait. Dude, what is this, a snapper in here? Oh, whoa. Got a little cichlid in there. Um, I guess we're going to try to go fishing later. See if we can catch some big fish. But before we go out there, what do we have to catch, bro? We got to get some more bait. Got to get the bait. So. Got to get the bait. Bluegill, shad, whatever we get out of here is going to work. Slow current right here, bro. I hope this is in. Yeah. Hey, snook candy. That's prime right there, huh? Beautiful. Look at that right there. Awesome, bro. Here, let me help you out. There you go, dude. Dude, that's nice right there. Oh my god. Oh, he out. just got out. Look. Oh, he heard guy. the word snook. <laughs> well, Let's what see got? what we got in a here. Snakehead. No way. That's what it looks like to me. Where? Where is he? Uh oh. He got oh. out. There was a snakehead in here. Dang. Oh man. That was the cool. one that got away. That was fishing cool. there. Oh, they're still fishing oh, there. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Got that thing. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Some merch for you and your boy, man. Some merch? Hey, look at this. Bro. Guys, we got some face guards with the Canal Cowboy on it. Dude, that's fire, bro. Holy smack. You know what, man? I'm going to put this on right now because the bugs are starting to come out. And I got this shirt right here. Bro. Oh, that's sick, dude. It's on the side, bro. Gleeho! Ooh. This is fire, man. It's made with that really good material. Let me just go ahead and throw it on real quick. Now the one man got to just swag it out, see how it looks. Oh, look at that perfect fit. Put the shades on. Hold up. Feeling it. Hey, okay. Everything that you need all in one tackle boxes. Like you said, guys, the top waters, the crankbaits, the worms, the hooks, and of course, he's got this super fire gear right here to help keep the sun off you when you're out slaying fish, bro. Don't. Oh, we are. Uh oh, uh oh. It started, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Guys, something just flew out the water. He's on. Oh, he's on. There he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. He's still on. He's not on. He's not on. Oh my gosh. We got it on film, guys. Oh. 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 Got to tell you. Oh. It's all right. Next time. Next time. I told y'all, dude. Oh. Guys, we got our first landed fish. Hey. Oh yeah! Hold it tight, man. Your finger, you gotta hold it, buddy. But it. I'm trying to get them for display purposes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, take the hook out. Look at that; it just fell right out. And we got a really nice hook set on him. He didn't get gut hooked, gill hooked, and you know what? It's really hard hooking these fish in the bill. Dude, what was going on through your mind when you were fighting this thing, bro? Um, well, honestly, I had just lost that big tarpon, so I was like, I'm, I finally, I got two takes. I'm the only one to get a take, and I got two, and I was like, I'm not letting this chance go. So I, I waited a couple seconds for it to really take, and I, I, I waited for him to slack a little bit, and I just set that hook hard. And at first I thought, oh, maybe he's just coming to me because I gave him a good hook set, and he mm -hmm. wasn't fighting real hard. Mm -hmm. But then as he got closer, I realized you it, realize, wasn't, it, it was, wasn't the fish I wanted, but... But At least it's a catch. It's, it's some kind of redemption for the night. I've gotten some action. I can't be. Yup. Yeah. 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 I can't be too depressed nah, about it. Nonetheless, it is a really cool fish. Yeah, it's and a we, pretty dope fish. We spotted him earlier, and, and it's I really... don't think he's a Florida gar either. He's, he's got some unique patterns on him. Yeah. He's got and like a really really short bill compared to most Florida gars. Yeah. He does. I think he's a spotted or something. That's a tropical gar. Tropical, tropical gar. Huh? Spotted gar. Look at the leopard patterns on the back right there. That is absolutely insane. And guys, don't worry. This fish has been out of water, but these things actually they have lungs. Air, yep. yep, they can live in low oxygenated water. This guy's fine to go. Matter of fact, we might actually 
be putting him in a temporary holding spot so we can get a further analysis on him. Oh, beautiful. Look at this, guys. We have it all set up right here for y'all. Hell yeah. And look at that. He's in his new containment. <laughs> it's only temporary. Temporary, just so he can chill. And he's got some little minnows and stuff like that floating in. But this is going to be his little pool home for a little bit. We're going to look at him more. And uh, let's go see what other fish we can catch, guys. The night is still young. Do it. Let's check on our friend. Hey, buddy. Guys, comment down a name. What is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here. Just calm down, buddy. Just want to say hi. Guys, we have a new pet. Help me name this fish. All right. I'm going to call you Leopard. Ooh, whoa, you just tried biting. All right, buddy. We're going to let you chill. We wait. Now it's time to do the fish call. Look at that, bro. He was just in the water. Now look what he's doing. Yeah, he's laying it. There's like some pink stuff coming out of him, bro. Oh, he's laying eggs. Oh, that's my a good gosh. photo. The pink stuff is on the photo. Catch a cook the real way, brother. Hey, look at that. Got some fish from earlier, huh? Mutton snapper. Nice, bro. All right. Eating good, eating good. Right here, we have our new friend. Oh, yeah. Sure, he got some bubbles, right? Always. Oh, 